The Gold Digger test in this series may be filmed weeks prior to their upload. The results are shown to our guests a couple of days beforehand as well. As usual, I hope you guys have your talkies because you guys already know this shit's gonna be good. Hey, hey. this series, I place an emoji on all of our targets, whether they end up being a gold digger or not, in order to be respectful, prevent any defamation, and keep you all guessing. Oh yeah, I also don't want to get sued. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Catching Gold Diggers. Today, I am chilling here with the homie Isaac, who's here because he's developed a passion for the fashion industry, but more specifically, he's developed a passion for someone in that industry. However, he thinks that someone might be a gold digger, and to top this all off, he's actually dated a gold digger before. So, what's up, Isaac? How you so doing, man? So, good. let's start off with the, uh, the the gold digger that you dated before. Tell us about that. It was a six-month relationship. Damn. And after the seventh month, she on, <laughs> ended up going with a guy who showered her with more gifts. So, she, she just... She, <laughs> she just up and left. She just girl. left you just, yeah, just, just like that. that. Just like that. Just because I didn't have... What, what, did, you, what did she text you? Did she text you, I'm she sorry, just, it's uh, not working no, out? Or was it just, just like a... It was just kind of like she blocked me off everything. Really? Yeah. Wow. So, besides the fact that you've dated a gold digger in the past before, what makes you think that Stephanie, who's your girlfriend, what makes you think that Stephanie is a gold digger? She's a stylist, so she's around many guys, and yeah. so they're definitely gonna be hitting on her. So gotcha. definitely. So you want to see if that she, yeah. she's actually committed, she's committed to you, to me, yeah. and that she won't just up and leave you and block you exactly. <laughs> for somebody else for <laughs> more money. As you guys know, we are about to pull three gold digger tests on Stephanie. If she passes test number one, you're gonna get fifty bucks. If she passes test number two, you're gonna get a hundred and fifty dollars, and if she passes test number three, you're gonna get three hundred dollars. However, however. Before we move forward and even start this thing, I need you to place your left hand on the head of that golden shovel right there. No, go ahead, place on the yeah. I didn't say hover, I said place. And now raise your right hand in the air and do so solemnly swear to myself and to everyone watching you right here, right now, that you haven't told Stephanie about what, what we're about to do, nor will you tell her that she's about to be put to the gold digger test. I swear to all of you guys watching, <laughs> I swear. All right, guys, so in this file here, Isaac has given us some basic information on his girlfriend, Stephanie. From here, we're going to be using this information to come up with the three gold digger test to put Stephanie to the test. And if all goes according to plan, we should be meeting back here within three to four weeks for the purposes that Stephanie doesn't get suspicious or catches on, Definitely. okay? Um, let's get this started and you can leave. <laughs> <laughs> At 11.15 a.m., Stephanie got out of class. We got to her school at that time and began looking for her because according to the information we got from Isaac, she usually just hangs out around campus before her next class. Sure enough, we found her chilling on a bench. Our camera guys were quick to hide the cameras and now it's our turn to move fast so we can execute test number one. All right, so we found Stephanie. We've set up both cameras and I'm keeping my distance so I'm not seen. I am linked onto a phone call with Danny already and he's about to make his entrance and I'm gonna be hearing everything that he's about to tell Stephanie. Uh, it's not to bother you. I actually have a class right there that I have to fill out an application, but I forgot my pencil bag. Do you have any pencils or pens or markers I can borrow? Um, It'll be really quick. Here. All right, thank you so much. I'll bring it right back. Dude, keep me in time. Are you I'm not a thief. I'll give it back to you, I promise. Okay. It'll be like two minutes. Okay. All right, right. thanks. All right, everything good so far. Danny walks away, which means now Leslie and Catherine walk in. Excuse me? Hi. That guy, Danny, the guy that you were just talking to. Do you oh. know him? No. You've right. never seen his videos or anything? How do you not know him? He's huge. He's all over social media. You've never seen it on Instagram, YouTube. He's on the news. Twitter. He's been on the news like several times. No, sorry. He just like came and asked me for a pen. Do you know if he's coming back? Um, he said he would, so I guess. I know this is really, really weird. Yeah. Can you please like just ask him if we can take a picture with him? Um, I mean, he's like a stranger We just feel me. really weird asking him since he already talked to you. It just seems like he would say yeah. So. <laughs> if he comes back, sure. I'll ask him. You're thank like, you. <laughs> thank you okay. so much. We'll just like we'll, wait right we'll here. Be over here okay? We'll wait for him to come back. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Oh, dude, it's fine. Don't, don't worry. All right. Thank you. Wait. Um, these girls over here wanted to know if they could take a picture with you. Yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, thank you! <laughs> 
I love all your videos. I watch every single one. Thank you. Take yeah, yeah. Don't Thank you me. so much. Ah, thank uh, you. Yeah. <laughs> Give a good day. Uh, yeah, you guys say bye. If it isn't obvious already, guys, for this scenario, we are giving off the illusion that Danny is this big time YouTuber with millions of subscribers. This happened quite a lot. Yeah? Quite a bit, yeah. Give me your YouTube channel. I kind of want to look you up now. Uh, <laughs> she wants to look up Danny, but Danny has no channel. <laughs> I don't really give out my channel. How about I give you my channel once we go on a date? <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, I don't know guys if this is just me, but to me, when Danny tries to pick up a girl, it sounds awkward. But you know what though? I think girls like that because it's not like an awkward, awkward. It's like a, it's like a cute double awkward, you know? <laughs> but anyways, we're off to a very, very, very good start. Danny, good job. I am so proud of you as usual. Subway! Subway, what a coincidence. I used to work at Subway. Guys, thanks to Isaac hitting up Stephanie and asking her what she was doing or where she was hanging out at, we figured out that she was at Subway studying, which is only about like five minutes away from her school. So right now, currently, I am setting up the far camera right here in the parking lot, and we have our second camera setting up for the close shot. And we also have Joey, AKA the hyphenate, gearing up, ready to make an entrance, and I'm just gonna duck over here and press record, and you, you, you can stand here with me too. We are linked onto the phone call with Joey so we can hear everything that he's about to tell Stephanie. And you can take this off. I mean, unless you don't want to because it's hot. Hi. Excuse me. I was wondering if you'd be okay with me spitting a flow for you. Um, sorry, what? Spitting a flow for you. Like spitting some rhymes. Like rapping? Yeah. Sure. Okay, I'm an artist. I was thinking in my mind, but uh, this is this is what came to my mind right now. Keep in mind, guys, this is scenario number two, aka the stepping it up a bit scenario, which means Joey really, really has to step it up. Hey, pretty lady, I saw you from a distance. Your beauty caught my eye, and I knew in that instance I had to come meet you, had to come speak to you. I liked what I saw and wanted more than just a preview. My artist <laughs> name's the Hyphenate, real name Joey. I know this is different, and you don't really know me, but if you allow me, I'll treat you even better better than any other man because you could be my treasure. <laughs> that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Mm, mm. Mm -hmm. Leslie, will you be my bestie? Joey, you are such a toy. What's your name? Um, I'm Stephanie. I like that. I can work with that. Okay, Stephanie. <laughs> check, check this out, Stephanie. Okay. I met this pretty young thing. Her name was Stephanie. I don't believe in fate, but I think this is destiny. Looking at her smile, my heart's racing with intensity. And I ain't talking science class, but I think we got chemistry. I am drawn to you and I ain't talking illustrator. And I think we add up. We don't need a calculator. But let me get your number so that I can call you later. I'll spoil you on dates because I'm a man who likes to cater. <laughs> That was okay. I'm pretty impressed. That was good. Thank do you, you do man. this like professionally or rapping just a hobby or what? No, no, I, I'm a hip hop artist. I did this professionally. Like, right. And actually, tomorrow I have this big industry event in uh, the Hollywood Hills. It's a private industry only exclusive event, red carpet, super fancy, really top notch, uh, dress to impress type of event. And I don't have a date. I actually was hoping maybe you would be my plus one. <laughs> um, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't think I can. What you think of that? Maybe she doesn't like rappers. <laughs> Jelly, I like rappers. Take me out. <laughs> Wait, are you serious? That was really her? Yes. How do you know? Trust me, it was her. But I don't see her though. She went inside. Huh? Isaac! What's up? Hey, dude, we ran into another complication, man. Stephanie's already at the Mercedes dealership. Is that bad? Well, it's bad because she's not outside. She's inside. She went inside already. All right, guys, so here is our dilemma. So we asked Isaac to ask Stephanie to meet him at the Mercedes dealership today to supposedly look at some cars. In reality, Isaac's going to be coming late to give us enough time to pull test number three on Stephanie. We were hoping that Stephanie would be in her car or by her car. But the thing is, she's already inside the Mercedes dealership, which is a problem because we need her to be outside to pull test number three. That's why I gave Isaac a call in order for him to find a way to lure her back outside so we could get this thing going so he should be doing that right now which means you gotta go that way and i gotta go this way isaac is getting stephanie to come out by telling her hey i'm a couple minutes away i'm not sure where to park can you come by the entrance okay so she should be coming outside right now oh god i think this is one. excuse me can you help me double count some money really quick please can you help me double count some money really quick? I'm gonna buy a car in it, but I need to double count the money. Like I have major OCD and I, I need somebody to double count it with me. Okay. Is that cool? Yeah. Are you buying a car today? No, not today. Not today? 
Okay, okay. Okay. Ooh, I'm so sorry. Like I said, I just have major OCD and I need somebody to double count this money with me. Okay, so it's a lot of money. <laughs> okay, yeah, but, it is. But every single stack is $10,000, okay? Okay. Here we go, ready? Okay. 10,000, 20,000, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100,000. 100,000, okay? Yeah. All right, last time, last time, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's 100,000 dollars in there, right? Okay. And you're watching me, I'm closing this, closing this, closing this, watch. Hundred thousand dollars, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just have major OCD. I need somebody counting everything with me, that's, okay? That's so hundred thousand dollars in here. Like I'm gonna walk in there cash and be like, bitches, give me my motherfucking Mercedes! I think you guys should know the money isn't real. It's actually movie money, but you can't really tell unless you're up close inspecting it. <gasps> okay. Right. No! Fuck me! What my wallet! No! No! I love my wallet at home! I don't have my ID! Sergio's using the excuse that he forgot his wallet to leave the scene because obviously he's not really buying the car. What was your name? Thank you so much. Stephanie. 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 My name's Sergio. It's so nice okay. to meet you. You're really, really beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Do, I don't know if this is a little bit too much, but uh, I would like to take you out on a beautiful date. We could go, I don't know, maybe shopping, maybe to the mall, maybe to like some fancy restaurant, some <laughs> dinner, something. I don't know. like. And that's a wrap. Something told me she was going to say that. All right, guys, so let me just refresh your guys' memory a little bit. A couple of weeks ago, me and Isaac met at this exact same table because we were gonna put his girlfriend, Stephanie, to the gold digger test. Now, in front of me are the results to all of the three tests, which Isaac, just like you guys, will be watching for the very first time. Now, before we start, Isaac, on a scale of one to 10, how nervous are you? About a nine. <laughs> Ner <laughs> so, your confidence level is a one? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> All right, so test number one. Test number one is codenamed the simple test, and that's because it is simple. We're not flashing any money, we're not flashing any cars, there's not like a major big setup. Basically what happens is Danny goes in one time and asks the girlfriend to borrow a pen. Then he leaves. Then Leslie and Catherine walk in, and they start telling your girlfriend, oh my God, were you just talking to Danny? And they're the ones who are sort of buffing up Danny. And then they ask to take a picture with Danny, and then they leave, and then Danny turns to your girlfriend and asks her on a date. It. So it's nice and simple. Here are the results to that. I don't really give out my channel, but how about I give you my channel once we go on a date? <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, like we can go get something to eat, we can go bowling. Um, I know this one restaurant that has a lot of good food. <laughs> um, I mean, okay. Um, Alright, I, 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 got, I got really nervous asking girls that. No, you're fine. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I think that'd be really cool. Is there more? Hmm? Is there more to the video? Mm-mm. Well, I mean, Danny just walks away and she stays sitting down and then we just grab our cameras and we leave, but we Wait. leave and she stays there. So she really gave a number to him? Mm-hmm. She really did. On the simple test. On the simple test. The easy test. What are your thoughts? What are you thinking? I don't know. Test number two. Test number two was pulled by Joey, a.k.a. The Hyphenate. And in this one, he basically goes up to your girl and he pretty much just raps to her. He raps around her name and then he says, hey, I'm this big time rapper. I have this big time event happening. Would you like to be my date to this event? Okay. Okay. Here are the results. I was hoping maybe you would be my plus one. <laughs> um, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't. I don't think I can. I don't think you can. <laughs> why? Why not? Why? Why not? Um, I mean, I don't really have like anything, you know, fancy like just to impress. I don't. I don't oh, really have okay. Anything. Well, if, it, if it's just that, if it's just you don't have something fancy, that's that's no problem. <laughs> I can I can get that taken care of, no problem. I'll pick you up a little earlier in the limo. I'll have everything How do I taken know care you're of. Legit? Like, what if you're just some random guy? Like, <laughs> no, I'm not. Weird. I'm not a creeper. Just making this up. And Google me. I'll pop up. I'm the first thing that pops up under the hyphen. What do you say? You down for a, an amazing night tomorrow night? <laughs> I mean, why not? Yeah. All right, <laughs> let's do it. She said yes again. I figured just because of the fact that she failed the most simplest test mm -hmm. to begin with, I kind of had a feeling like it's going to go downhill from here. In, in the beginning, though, she was saying no. However, it was for all the wrong reasons. Yeah. She wasn't saying no because of you. She was saying no because I don't have a dress. No, because I don't know who you are. No, because you might be a creep. I don't know you're real. She never brought you up. And she didn't even mention me. Test number three. So test number three is our going all out test. This is the one where we flash $100,000 and I'm actually pulling this one and I'm sure you remember it. It's the one where I asked you for help to call her to come outside from the Mercedes dealership and then I asked her to help me double count that money. So 
I don't know if this is a little bit too much, but um, I would like to take you out on a beautiful date. We could go, I don't know, maybe shopping, maybe to the mall, maybe to like some fancy restaurant, some dinner, <laughs> something. I don't know, like. I, I, I'm sorry, no, <laughs> I'm sorry, I have what? a boyfriend. Yeah, I, I have what? a boyfriend, I'm sorry. <laughs> How about you just give me your number then and I could call you sometime, maybe. Yeah. Maybe you'll break up with your boyfriend in the next couple days or something, I mean, or you I think hope about it. Not. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't think I can. Are you serious right yeah, now? I'm, I'm so sorry. I, <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> she said no. How did she pass this one and not pass the other ones? <laughs> I don't. What's your opinion on it? Like, wait, why do you think she passed this one? I have no idea. <laughs> I personally believe that she caught on. I think she caught on because Danny and Joey left her hanging. Like, they don't text her after they get her number. You get me? So I think she either, A, she didn't give me her number because she thought I was going to leave her hanging, or B, she didn't give me her number because she got on. Yeah. You know, because the other two guys left her hanging, though. Or C, she just didn't like me, thought I was ugly. But um, she did fail two out of three tests, as you saw, which makes her a gold digger. And I know you've been through this before. And I know this shit sucks, man. You know, I feel for you and I am sorry that you're going through this again. At least this time now, you know, early on, you know, you're not seven months in deep and now you know exactly what she could do to you, what she will do to you. But most importantly, you know that she's not taking you serious when you yeah. are, you know? And that's yeah. something that I recommend personally, you should break off. But on the bright side, things are gonna get better. And I hope they do get better with the check. I'm gonna write you of 300 bucks. I'm she, good. What do you mean? Like, I don't want it. What do you What do you mean? I got you coming for the money. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, but but I have to give you the money. Like I have to. Like it's part of like our rules essentially. Yeah, part of me as a person, I ain't coming to take any money. What if I write you a check for three hundred bucks and I put it in your pocket right there? I mean, you could do that, but I'm not gonna cash it. Or anything. <laughs> what? I sick. I just not. It's not who I am. Bro. She did you dirty, man. I know, but like that's why I'm gonna break up with her, bro. But you won't take the money. No, I'm good. I'm satisfied with just just leaving the relationship where it is. <laughs> Dude, like, she's missing out like on a really good guy, man. It's her loss. Guys, Isaac is an amazing guy with a great heart who doesn't deserve to be used and played by a gold digger. He wouldn't accept the $300 from me even off camera, which clearly shows that unlike Stephanie, he values honesty, the truth, and fidelity a lot more than money. Here's his Instagram, guys. Please, and I mean please, just go show him some love. I love you guys, and I will see you guys next week.